Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a video that is all about Lulu, our chihuahua, and you can see she is sleeping right now. This is a pet tag and I originally did this with my bunny Truffle. I will link his video down below, but it has been five years since I did that video and I've been meaning to do one for Lulu over the past five years. I just haven't gotten around to it until now. Better late than never. Let's just go ahead and get started. What is our pet? Our pet, of course, is a dog. She is a long-haired chihuahua or a long coat chihuahua. She does have um, a lot of fur, as you can see. So she kind of looks like a mix between a chihuahua and maybe a Pomeranian or something along those lines, but she is a purebred long-haired chihuahua. Her name is Lulu, but we have a lot of different nicknames for her. We call her Bluey, we call her Baby Blue, we call her Lulu Lee, just a lot of different plays on her name. When we got her originally, she was supposed to be a blue chihuahua, so gray, similar to our bunny. She really only had a few blue patches, and as she grew older, she became lighter and lighter and lighter, and now she is basically cream and fawn. She doesn't really have any traces of blue remaining, although she does have a patch on her back where it's a little bit of her blue coloring. There is very little trace of that color left, and sometimes when we show her baby pictures, our friends can't believe that she's the same dog because her coloring and the way she looks is so different. As their coat is growing in, they have really short fur and they look almost like a short-haired chihuahua. At around one year of age, their coat starts becoming very full and their coat is fully developed by two years old. That brings me to the next question, how old is Lulu? Lulu is seven years old and she turns eight this year. She turns eight on March 1st and I'm recording this on January 31st. She still acts like a puppy though. She gets very, very hyper around food, around new people, in different environments like other people's homes. She just goes crazy. So she acts like like a puppy but at home she's usually pretty calm the only time she gets um, fussed is if someone comes over she tends to get very yappy occasionally when she hears somebody in the hallway although she's used to people being in the hallway now so there has to be something that really sets her off for her to become very vocal when someone's just in the hallway if someone knocks on our door though or if someone comes into the condo she barks her head Head off now. Eventually she does settle down and she becomes her normal self but just a little bit more on the hyperactive side which you wouldn't know it now because she's sleeping so soundly and so calmly. The next question is where did we get Lulu? We got Lulu from a breeder the breeder's name was Shasta Valley, so Lulu's full name is actually Shasta Valley's Honolulu Blue. So Shasta Valley is the name of the breeder, and then Honolulu Blue is her full name, so that's what we named her. Our breeder unfortunately decided to stop breeding chihuahuas and we were really sad about that because Lulu is such an amazing dog. A lot of people ask where we got her and I wish we could refer them to Shasta Valley but I no longer have any recommendations for breeders. Why did we decide to get a long haired chihuahua? We thought about getting a dog for a really long time. My husband likes small dogs and for our lifestyle it's a little bit easier although in the past Past, I've always wanted a big dog. We have a tiny condo though and a small dog actually ended up being great for us because um, she's very comfortable in the small condo and she doesn't eat as much, her poops aren't as big. We thought about getting a Maltese or perhaps a Coton de Toulier. Those just seemed like beautiful dogs. Not really a tiny dog but still on the small side. We also thought about getting a Dachshund but ultimately we read so much about long-haired chihuahuas and their spirit and feistiness. They only shed maybe once or twice a year. We went to Woofstock a few times, which is an event for dogs that they hold in Toronto, and we met a lot of owners of long-haired chihuahuas, and we asked a lot of questions about them. We're aware that they have some health problems, like um, they could get um, joint issues especially with the knees. Their teeth can be pretty bad, and as well because they have 
a shorter muzzle, not like a pug or a bulldog or whatnot, but they still do have um, a tiny muzzle, so they can be prone to having a little bit of wheezing. So we knew all of this going in, as well as their reputation for yappiness and for being um, very clingy to one person and not liking anyone else. But despite all of that, we felt that the long-haired chihuahua had so many good qualities that we were looking for that we decided to go ahead and look into breeders. We talked a lot with our breeder, there was a ton of information on her website, and ultimately we decided to go with Lulu, and we were so happy with our decision. Lulu is not yappy, the only time she's yappy, again, is if someone comes over, but when she's out for a walk, she doesn't bark, she's not dog reactive, she's super friendly with strangers. So there are a couple of instances where she can act territorial when she's in her carrier and also when hubby is holding her. So those are kind of the only times when we're out and about that she might react to strangers, but if she's on a leash or if she's in a dog park, she's usually very calm. She is quite confident, but sometimes if um, someone touches her in a way that maybe she doesn't like, whether it be um, a human or a dog, she kind of makes this shrieking sound, which is very loud and very scary, but often it's just her being a drama queen. It doesn't happen too often, but occasionally it does, and it freaks everyone out, including us. Does she know any tricks? Lulu knows a lot of tricks, but she doesn't do them unless she's pretty sure you have food or that she's gonna get food. She is extremely intelligent and she knows the differences and the nuances between a lot of different things. She's very um, independent, she's very bright. She knows the standard tricks like roll over, uh, sit, lie down, but often when she sees food she gets so excited that she just kind of goes through the motion of doing all of the different tricks in succession in order to get the treat. When hubby and I go out we often fill her Kong with some peanut butter and some bits of duck strip. Sometimes she can get all of the peanut butter, but oftentimes there's still a bit remaining. She would often look at the Kong and look at us, or she would try to somehow communicate that she wanted help, but she would never bring the Kong over to us. So I managed to teach her to bring the Kong over, and she's really, really good at that now. You can kind of see when she's picked something up, she's so expressive that it almost looks like a light bulb went off like an actual light bulb. So when she got the hang of that trick, you could see that she learned it and she got it. And it was something that was so amazing to witness that I want to teach her some more tricks. The next question is, does she snuggle, give kisses, or follow us around? Yes, yes, and yes. She loves to snuggle, not as much during the day. I think she's used to us being out during the day, but definitely at around two or three o'clock, she starts um, becoming much more alert. She will come out and stare at me until I feed her dinner. Dinner is typically at three o'clock, and then hubby will come home sometime after that, and the rest of the evening, she's pretty much with us. So typically, she will be in my lap or in hubby's lap, most often hubby's lap but she loves to snuggle. She loves to give kisses as well, and she definitely follows us around because she is so food motivated, particularly hubby, because hubby tends to drop a lot of food, so she will just follow him everywhere. And if she knows I'm going to the kitchen to cook or to do something, she will follow me there. But something that she can eat, she knows right away. She knows if I'm slicing an apple, if I'm peeling a banana, if I'm getting a tub of yogurt, and opening that, if I'm cracking some eggs, all of those things she knows and she will just sit right up and start staring at me. What are some of the funny things she does to make us laugh? So I mentioned a few already, just her being so clever and so intelligent. She's really funny sometimes when um, we have our legs under blankets and she sees something move under the blanket. She will give it this look where she turns her ears towards the object, the mysterious object, and she'll kind of tilt her head ever so slightly. Lulu's never been one to tilt her head a lot, like 
a lot of other chihuahuas. I think it's so cute, but she's just never picked that up. Ever since she had her teeth pulled, her tongue sticks out a lot. So that makes us laugh because she just looks so cute. She hates costumes, so we don't put them on her anymore. But she used to get so angry when we would put costumes on her. And I know it's bad, but that would make us laugh. Everything she does makes us laugh because she is just so cute, so expressive. She just is super duper funny. So I've answered all the questions in this pet tag. Please let me know down below if you have any questions about Lulu. I would be very, very happy to answer them. Lulu does have an Instagram account. If you wanna follow her there, I will link it down below. Right now, it contains photos of mostly Lulu, but sometimes Truffle. But please do follow her there if you enjoy seeing photos of Chihuahuas. Mostly staring and sleeping, but um, sometimes we catch her doing other things. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have a pet, please let me know down below what kind of pet you have, their names, and maybe a little bit about them. I love to read about animals. It brings me so much joy to see how pets make other people happy as well as us, of course. Thank you again for watching. I'll be back with another video very, very soon. Until then, please take care and bye for now. Lulu says bye too. Maybe I can reach in and pet her now. She's kind of blinking a bit. Hey, baby. You were a good girl. You slept through your entire video.